Hi, I'm Will Katie with Source Audio, and today we're going to be taking a look at a killer new effects pedal called the Multi-Wave Bass Distortion Pro. With its broad palette of sounds and its comprehensive control, this is a pedal that is a serious game changer for the professional musician. When creating the Multi-Wave, the Source Audio engineers here in Boston specifically designed it to be an unprecedented ally for both on the stage and in the studio. The Multi-Wave is a highly customizable distortion pedal. On the center knob, we can see there are 23 different distortions divided up between the eight single band and the 15 multiband settings. The drive control adjusts the gain of the signal going into the distortion section. The higher the drive, the more distorted the signal. The clean mix knob controls the amount of dry, unaffected signal going to the output. The clean signal used in this control does not have any EQ applied. This control is especially useful for getting back some of the low-end frequencies that can be lost in the pure distorted signal. The distorted mix knob adjusts the overall level of the distorted signal. Along with the clean mix knob, it can be used to balance the levels of clean versus distortion. Also, the overall output level can be increased by turning up both clean and distortion mix levels. Single band distortion is a kind of effect that you find in a lot of pedals today. The way that it works is it takes the entirety of the signal and it distorts it. Now what happens with the multiband is that the multiband takes the signal, cuts it up into the individual frequencies that you might find in a graphic equalizer, distorts those, and then recombines it to create a wider, much more versatile sound. Both the single band and the multiband are divided into three regions which alter the distortion curves in different ways. They are called normal, foldback, and octave. One of the greatest advantages of the multiband distortion is how responsive it can be to both the high notes and the low notes. To illustrate this, I'm going to play the bass line to a song called The Spider. In this line, listen to how the harmonics and the low notes are both distorted, yet can each be heard with clarity. The single band normal setting is your classic fuzz bass sound. This is always going to work well with good old fashioned honest American rock music. Fullback takes a little bit of explanation. With the normal distortion curve, as the signal rises, it reaches the threshold and then eclipses and then decreases. This is called a square wave. But with fullback distortion, what happens is that as it reaches that threshold, instead of simply clipping, it decreases and then it increases and then it decreases and increases, hence the name fullback. The louder the input volume, the more increases and decreases or folds you're going to hear in the signal. This creates a grittier, harsher distortion based on how many folds occur within any given moment. As we start to get deeper into the fold back, the distortion takes on a scratchier, grittier tone. With multiband, this results in a very synth-like sound. This works extremely well with punchy staccato kind of playing, just like you might find in a lot of hip-hop bass lines. So in this example, listen to that, and also listen to how the harmonics and the low end still do have their distortion and clarity.
In single band distortion, the fullback setting creates a very satisfying synth tone. Only this is one that's played by human hands. Take a listen to how it reproduces the bass solo from the song Short Circuit by Daft Punk. There are seven bands on the graphic equalizer with 12 decibels of control in either direction. This can be used to further refine your bass sound, but can also be used to indirectly strengthen or weaken different frequencies of the multiband distortion. The EQ amount knob on the top of the pedal gives you control over how much impact the EQ has on the signal for even further refinement. The octave setting really enhances the advantages of playing chords with the multiband distortion. In this bass line, from a song called Landmine, we can hear how the multiband octave widens the sound of the chords and creates a synth-like texture for the punchier parts. The single band octave setting creates some very funky and very jazzy sounds. Think Herbie Hancock or P-Funk. You can really experiment and get some very, very cool funky bass lines with this setting. The MultiWave has six user presets for saving customized distortions. They can be saved and accessed at the three foot switches located at the bottom of the pedal. Pressing the preset bank button will allow you to toggle between settings one to three and four to six. A new feature with the SoundBlocks Pro series is the ability to morph between presets. You can do this with an expression pedal. It allows you to morph between presets one to three, two and five, or four and six. Let's say preset 1 is saved as a multiband normal setting, and preset 4 is a multiband octave setting. By connecting a passive expression pedal, you can fade from the preset 1 multiband normal sound into the octave effect by rocking the expression pedal from heel to toe. As you fade between the sounds, the color of the LED above the foot switch will fade from green to red to indicate where the morph is between the two presets. So there you have it. That is the Soundblocks Pro Multiwave Bass Distortion. Also available in the Soundblocks Regular Series. Gets it straight to the effect, cuts out the Pro Series interface. You can find out more about this pedal and others like it at www.sourceaudio.net. Take care.